So do you think, because obviously we're all caught up in this sort of daily Trump fest. I mean, every uh, single newspaper, every radio station, every bit of social media. You got to make money or, too. Well, it's you gotta, dissecting. You got, you got bills to pay, man. You got electric bills. You got food. You know, this guy is, he's giving you all cash. The cash flow in the Trump era for uh for these TV stations and for these... Can, can I say, that might have been an issue, and yep. maybe it still is an issue for the people who are the bean counters, but we, yep. the journalists, we, I think, believe that our job is to navigate the truth and to do the fact-checking and all the rest of it. So I think that's what motivates but a lot of people. I think the journalists have taken it personally. Okay, They're that's personally wounded and offended by this man. He baits them, and they dive in. And what he's done well, I thought, is appeal to their own narcissism, to their own ego. Because what he says is these are the, and the journalists stand up and say, we are noble, we are honorable, how dare you, sir? And they take it personally. And now he's changed the conversation to not that his policies are silly or not working or any of those other things. It's all about the fight. He's, he's able to tune out everything else and get people just focused on the fight. He's going to win that fight. You know, even um, Bob, Bob Woodward said that in his book on the, on the Trump White House that a lot of journalists are too emotional about this. But it's hard for us to be dispassionate when words from the White House mm -hmm. are aggressive against us and, 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 and you know, raise the spectrum of violence to against think us. Think of the communities No, no, we're used of, to it, believe me. Think of the communities We've been out there color. in the field. Think of Muslims. Think of uh, the, the black community. People, you know, when journalists rise to this outrage of how dare you say this about us, think of the lives that they've been leading under this and, and All right. what they've been put under. So you have said artists can transcend race like nobody can. True. So, so tell me about that. Tell me how you do that and why you do it in a way that others can't. I mean, even if you look like in the early days of bebop and jazz, like the bandstand was integrated decades before the country was. Mm -hmm. Uh, the artists, we're looking at some, art is such a beautiful thing to look at that you, one can forget certain lines that one should not transgress socially. In the pursuit of art, if someone's good at something, you, they, you want to be with that person. No matter what color, race, gender, if they got the gift, they got the gift. Art, is, art transcends everything. Hopefully it articulates something human, not something purely sectarian. And comedy, Steve Martin said this, and others have said it, and you've said it in, in a different way. You've got a good research department. Yeah, yeah. Pull yeah. Of quotes. Comedy, really is, comedy yeah. is not always nice. It can be really mean, mm. and it can push boundaries to a place where some people feel real, really offended. Is that, yeah. is that because everybody's a snowflake, or does comedy, should comedy have certain boundaries at all? Well, I think they're, they're, they're somewhat separate questions. Are they? Comedy's boundaries should be excellence. So whatever it is that you're talking about in terms of subject matter, if you're just napalming, you know, indiscriminately <laughs> uh, to provoke, then to me that's not really comedy. Comedy should be something more human and, and truly believed. And, uh, but, but I don't put any line on it. And I'm always fascinated when they say, you know, where do comedians draw the line? But nobody ever goes and says to Donald Trump, where do presidents draw the line? What, you know, we add insult sometimes to injury, but... Horse face, I think he should draw face. the line at horse face. Right. But, but when which, you talk about which, that... Which, as we know, is what he called Stormy Daniels. That's right. Yeah. But I'm more, again, I'm less interested in his insults and more interested in his injuries, in the people that are being hurt. Not the people that are being insulted, but are being hurt.